If you're curious about Pulp and how it can help you, let's take a look at some of the key workflows. If you work in a restricted or disconnected setup, or in an area of low bandwidth, you can use Pulp to create local mirrors of content and distribute that content throughout your organization. For example, you can use Pulp to download the whole of PyPI or Ansible Galaxy and then allow employees to access packages hosted and controlled by Pulp. Dependencies for your software can change very often. Package compatibility issues can lead to breaking changes. Package versions that you require can disappear from the source. If you manage your content in Pulp, you no longer have to worry about dependencies going missing. And because you control the dependencies and curate your content, you can ensure that you create safe, stable and reproducible environments. Pulp functions as a centralized tool to manage many content types. This saves you from having multiple tools to manage different content types that your infrastructure needs. Just add content plugins for the content types that you want to manage, and if one doesn't exist, it's easy to write a plugin. Pulp organizes the content into repositories, which you can curate and blend to suit your exact requirements. You can also create your own repositories and upload your own content. For example, if you're developing Ansible collections in-house, you can upload and curate them in Pulp. You can then publish your content and distribute it within your organization or to your customers. Pulp has been built with package distribution and promotion in mind. You can distribute different content to several different environments, for example, a development, testing and production environment at the same time. In your development environment, you can optimize the content for innovation and take risks, and for your production environment, you can ensure that your curated set of content is stable. Thank you very much for your time.